This is how, how we it. do it. Wow. We are super excited about school starting. Woohoo! School starts tomorrow, and so we thought we'd jump in. First of all, my son has a band aid on his mouth. Come here, Brock. How many band aids have we gone through this summer? There's there. At least a thousand. At least a thousand, because for every minor it touch. Oh, yeah, so any dramatic. scrape of anything, a ba but a band-aid fixes it, right? But Pinterels is so dramatic, like if I tap him, he'll need a band-aid. Look how dramatic you are, look how you're sitting. This is the last day before school, and the day started with some of the loudest screams I've ever heard in my entire life. So in your house, you don't cry over spilled milk, but we do. Pinterels spilled approximately a full gallon of milk in our kitchen, but here's the thing, Lola didn't help him, Blamed it on me. He's like, it's your fault. You didn't tell me to stop. She, she told me to play it back up and I couldn't read. <laughs> so you guys don't want to hear this. You hear enough of it. They absolutely want to hear it. This is like couch drama. Just one ruined rug and a few hours and one large glass of wine and we're good. At 8 a.m.? <laughs> <laughs> They're going back tomorrow and we thought we'd take a little bit of time to give some advice that we have learned in the past ah! about how to ease back into the school year. Ad advice number one, once you drop your kids off, go find your wife, like go in late to work if you have to, and go on like a one hour walk. Walks are the best way to reconnect with your spouse with no electronics, no TV, and no other uh, things that might be distractions that allow you to talk about stuff. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. So my piece of advice is this, is that as parents, we need to set really good examples for our kids. I think that we've had some bully situations in our school experiences so far. And if you look, I feel like they get that language and they get, they get that from parents. So to make it just vow that this year you're gonna set a good example about how you talk about the people you work with and how you talk about people at the Little League game and so our kids can match that. So that was really a piece of serious advice. That's really good, did that come off the top of your head? Well, it's, I think about these things. Okay. My advice, homework, okay? It's gonna get real. Quick, 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 quick. Every year gets Boy, harder homework. than the year before. So make a commitment as a parent to be there at least in the vicinity, as a resource when this happens, and try to help make it fun. And that's a great piece it's of advice, fun. Holderness. But how, how do does you that make happen? it fun? How do you make it fun? Make uh, every, it work. Every 15 minutes, we take breaks and go run around or jump in the trampoline. So, and we're also, I think that Penn should make up a song about math facts. My song is There once was a boy who's made out of sticks. Six times six is 36. <laughs> that boy lived up on a shelf. Six times two, it sure is 12. <laughs> then he heard a knock at the door and 12 times 12 is 144. It was his mom and she was mad. Eight times eight is six four, man. Wait, okay, that doesn't work. I'm, it's like coming off the top of my head, but I feel like but we can do you, that. Yeah. Last piece of advice. How about this, how about this? Like before school starts, can we all make a pinky promise to try our hardest this year at everything we do? Pinky promise to try our hardest at sports, to try our hardest at homework, to try our hardest at school. Math. Get the pinky in there. Pinky promise, we're gonna try our hardest pinky. this year. Double pinky promise to do our very, very best this year. That includes me. I'm gonna try to pack lunches the night before. That's not gonna happen. Okay, so effort on three. One, One two, three. Effort. Effort. School. Sports. Wait, well, yeah, Tell what's us. your advice? And fall asleep. So am I. Oh. <laughs> Well, we made it through the uh, episode without him leaving. Subscribe. Thanks for watching. <laughs>